The right question is not what technologies will be the future, it's the which ones we're going to be able to put into operation in the next years. This is what the airlines demand, this is what the regulators demand, this is what uh, people want. They want faster innovation into, the, into service. And for doing that, it's not only a matter of technology, it's a matter of cooperation between customers and suppliers. It's a matter of cooperation between the different customers across the world. It's a matter of getting more standards, getting more uh, ar newer architectures, getting more agility from the virtual world into what we have already been doing for years in uh, ATM. So in terms of technologies, we anticipate that in the world of ATA automation, we are going to move more into virtual centers, we're going to move more into uh, uh, newer architectures, more open systems, more interoperability, more uh, rich environments of data. The artificial intelligence will stick still take a while to come into operation, but there are certain domains where we can put them in place already. So, uh, the, for me, the name of the game is how we work together so that we go faster into putting into service and uh, for the benefits of the airlines, for green environment, the technologies that we have been developing in the latest research and development programs in CESAR, in uh, uh, other parts of the world, and this is what is the game uh, coming. It's about making it happen. So the challenge is how we bring into operation all these R&D programs that we have been investing for so long in Europe, in the US, in many places of the world. We have brought to prototypes like for virtual towers, for virtual centers, for a new cybersecurity, ways of dealing with the data rich environment in the R&D domains. Now we need to bring this to life.